thanks, Romina. And I will pick it up from, from here. As Romina uh, um, indicated, um, there were three parts to today's webinar. Um, she presented the, the first part, which um, had to do with weighting the certainty of the evidence um, using the great approach. Um, I will um, follow up with a brief repetition, some fine tuning of the webinar that we held about a year and a half ago, I believe, on um, presenting um, information from network meta-analysis in summary of findings tables um, um, that uh, um, now has been, has been published and some of you will have seen. And then um, talk about interpretation of the, of the findings um, of a network meta-analysis and um, also work that um, Romina has, has, um, um, has led and that uh, many of us had um, input on. And that is uh, work that um, is still under, um, let's say, final development, perhaps. Um, um, and so input and feedback on that um, will be very much appreciated. Final development um, here meaning that, um, at least from the great working group point of view, the, um, um, uh, the approach that I will be presenting, or one of the approaches that I will be presenting, has been has been approved, but um, um, it's not um, published in its final format yet. So um, I will um, take it from here um, and start with the with the second part, um, which is the summary of findings tables for network meta analysis and ways of presenting this um, information um, once it has been interpreted. So I go a little bit in circles, but there's a good um, good reason for that. Um, this is just the the rough overview of that. Um, network meta analysis summary of findings table, and this is obviously based on the general structure of summary of findings tables that um, I guess everybody here will be will be familiar with. Um, it's a different example, but essentially there are three parts to that um, summary of findings table, um, just like um, for pairwise summary of findings table. Um, the first is um, describing the actual PICO question where the interventions and the reference or the comparator. Um, um, makes um, part of that of that um, of those four pillars, obviously, um, and um, um, maybe one special aspect of the summary findings tables is that um, the um, next session focuses on um, 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 each outcome, um, and that um, um, is somewhat different um, from the regular summary of findings tables. For those of you who are not familiar. Um, um, with these network meta analysis summary of findings tables. So here, um, given the multitude of, of um, interventions, uh, um, there is um, one overarching role for the outcome, um, and then um, the individual interventions following in roles. Um, so in addition to an outcome being listed in a role, the interventions and the comparison or the actual interventions are also presented here in a role. And um, the difference to the regular summary of findings table is that um, obviously um, um, the interventions there and the comparator there are only presented in columns. I get back to that to make this a little clearer. And then the third part of the summary of findings table is the actual explanation, just in like in any summary of findings table, um, there are definitions provided, a great certainty of evidence, some um, definitions, and then explanatory um, footnotes. Um, I'll make this a little easier to digest and um, provide a few more high, um, a few more details about that. So um, again, um, I already alluded uh, um, to the um, um, the Pico question as it is described here. Um, what came out in user testing and in the development was that um, that detailed description is obviously um, desired, um, even if. Um, only one outcome is is described here in 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 um, um, the the summary of findings tables, and um, I'll explain a little bit more how this comes about. But I just wanted to re-emphasize that um, for this summary of findings table, it's a single outcome that is described here, um, where, and with the comparison of the of the actual interventions. Um, and um, what is um, specifically helpful here, so um, Romina took you through the network. Um, what we found is particularly helpful is that um, with the description of um, um, the findings for an outcome, so a, a multiple intervention comparison for an outcome, is the actual description or the geometry of the, of the actual network to provide um, um, those who interpret the or use the summary of findings table with um, information about the various um, um, comparisons that have been made and where, um, for instance, the most dominant loop um, would sit. Then 
Um, uh, moving on from here, now coming to that aspect, what the, the summary of findings um, um, table for network meta-analysis entails is, first of all, um, the total number of studies, um, total number of participants that is similar but presented differently here um, for the outcome. Um, again, um, here for this comparison, which is different um, uh, fluid resuscitation methods for patients with sepsis, the outcome here is uh, mortality. Um, this would be the number of trials that um, would have participated to the overall network. And then um, we provide um, information about um, um, the actual interventions here. Only three of them are, are listed, starting with, um, as I said, the total number of trials, the relative estimates, the absolute estimates, the certainty of the evidence, um, the actual ranking, um, and then an interpretation of the finding that I will get back to in, in a little bit. So here, um, what we are, what in terms of the relative estimate based on what um, Romina um, um, described, we would provide the information for the highest certainty of the evidence, which in this case was the actual network estimate and the relative estimate of the effect, moderate certainty. Um, this is why what Romina presented is particularly helpful. This is the intervention um, with regards to um, the actual reference that is chosen, which in this case would be LHES, um, that um, is not listed here as an outcome, but that would be the relative comparison, um, the relative estimate, and it would be a network estimate. Here is an, an absolute um, risk estimate then um, again, based on uh, um, a um, estimate, the baseline risk without the intervention. Here um, is what the relative estimate would exert, and here are the absolute differences in natural frequencies. I already mentioned the certainty of the evidence based on the evaluation that Romina described and the ranking from um, the um, um, superanalysis. And then an interpretation that um, so far not including what I will be presenting to um, towards the end of the of the presentation because um, as I said it's uh, I'm still in its final development just a description of whether or not um, based on the certainty of the evidence and the effect estimate um, that particular intervention is better than the reference okay so I'll move on from here um, I already described this not showing the um, animations here um, um, again, here with an explanation um, for, again, um, the actual estimates that are provided, the um, um, explanations just for the, for the um, uh, um, concepts that are included in the summary of findings table and the definitions, as opposed to, again, um, the great certainty interpretation and the explanatory footnotes. So, um, this is um, where you describe what Romina referred to, um, um, the explanations for why you would have rated down um, either the direct estimate or um, the, um, um, the network um, estimate. And in this particular case, um, as you can see, there were quite a few limitations that led to um, rating down some of these comparisons to very low certainty, which is described both here um, as well as in the explanatory footnote with more um, uh, def um, more ex with more precise information. Um, here's another example um, that I will um, quickly take you through. Um, again, um, same concept, description of the PICO, but what you see here is um, a description of the, for instance, the benefits that may be um, exerted by the intervention, sometimes um, for mortality, you don't know whether it's a benefit or a harm, but um, that can be labeled here. Um, the benefit here would be, um, um, again, um, a different type of uh, network meta-analysis of um, benefit here is the prevention um, of um, um, advanced neoplasia um, for, by, by interventions that um, deal with um, individuals who had a previous uh, history of colorectal neoplasia. And um, 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 again, same concept, people question described here, you see the actual um, network um, ge uh, geometry of the, of the network um, with its connections, indicating that there are quite a few pairwise comparisons um, with some um, placebo but um, not so much pairwise comparisons between active interventions. And um, again, same type of, uh, um, same type of um, um, principles here. 
um, these colored dots were found to be helpful when we did user testing to refer back to the actual intervention and get a quick overview of how this um, how this would look. Again, um, a, the information is presented for um, each of the interventions, and I'm going to spend a little bit more time on this now. Um, there was one randomized controlled trial that actually compared aspirin, calcium, and vitamin D against um, placebo as a um, um, as a um, um, reference um, 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 intervention or the comparator. Um, what happened here is that also here the network estimate provided even better evidence than um, the direct comparison. Therefore, that's provided in the summary of findings tables, the absolute estimates, again, meaning that with the intervention, there would be probably 20 to 1 fewer per 1,000. Um, but um, um, there were serious uh, um, imprecision, and this estimate was rated down, um, indicated by the fairly wide confidence intervals. Um, again, certainly the evidence just quickly and the ranking based on the super analysis. Okay. Um, and that's um, again explanatory footnotes. That was just the second example. Um, then um, 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 the same thing would be done. This is to emphasize that the summary of findings tables in this approach would require one summary of findings table per outcome, uh, um, which you know, obviously increases complexity and of, of showing the information, but at the same time, um, um, doing it this way increases obviously um, transparency. And I will um, get to um, how to maybe put this information together at the very end. This would be describing the harms, same type of idea. So um, at the end of the day, um, by presenting separate summary of findings tables for the benefits and the harms, interpretation is actually quite difficult, as you can imagine, because um, um, interpreters would have to pull information together in, um, um, in you know, from from different summary of findings tables, and, uh, and we believe that that probably um, makes things quite difficult. Um, so, for instance, if you think of it this way, if you were simply going by the magnitude of the benefits and the harms, um, you would, um, this is going back to the um, colorectal neoplasia example, you might look at the benefits here, prevention of advanced neoplasia, and find out that um, um, non-aspirin NSAIDs provide um, not only high certainty of the evidence, um, but also um, the um, um, largest um, uh, um, reduction in the in the risk, and you would, in comparison here, being placebo, say that um, this is maybe the best um, possible treatment, and then um, followed by by others. At the same time, if you were to just if you were to just um, look at the individual outcome um, 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 and um, focus on which of the interventions would be possibly the most um, harmful one or which would cause, in this case, the most serious adverse events, you would find that these are different, um, different interventions. So in this particular case, it would be calcium, um, calcium, vitamin D, all part of the network ge geometry or part of the interventions that we were actually um, looking at. And um, that in itself um, makes interpretation, I think, um, still quite um, challenging. And our suggestion, therefore, um, is to um, when these when these um, um, summary of findings tables are presented, although this being the most transparent way of doing it, um, to make decisions about which interventions may be the, the best candidate interventions, and um, choose, for instance, the top three. Um, interventions that provide most um, um, benefit, as that is possibly, or in most instances, the driving factor, and then um, list those um, interventions um, also under the harm to facilitate decision making. But in order to do that, um, um, we need to become a little bit more sophisticated in in um, um, with our interpretation. And um, the last part, part of my presentation will actually focus on that. So, um, but just to follow up or uh, to finalize that, one would then, um, under serious adverse events, if we had decided that those were the three most promising interventions, one would then list um, um, non-aspirin um, NSAIDs here on top and um, aspirin low dose and aspirin calcium vitamin D um, at the top, uh, at the bottom row to provide a summary really of both benefits and harms. 